Good evening, and welcome to the honor ceremony for the class of 2020. I'm Mrs. Eckhart, Fenville High School principal, and it is my privilege to host our first ever virtual award ceremony. Welcome, and thank you for watching this evening as we acknowledge the hard work, dedication, and achievements of individual members of the class of 2020. This is not how we plan for this to go. These are words that have been uttered probably millions of times in the last nine weeks. These seniors have already missed their prom, their senior luncheon, their senior celebration, and their walk. They missed the last nine weeks or so of their school career where they would not only get to say goodbye to everyone, but they would get to relax a little. Take it all in, knowing that the end is finally in sight. They would get to have senioritis and they would get to ease into the transition out of high school. None of these things happened for the class of 2020. But like all good Blackhawks, we persevere. We look for and appreciate the good things that are around us. We notice the positive. So tonight, we push on. We may have to recognize our seniors in a different way, but nothing will stop us from recognizing them. Before we begin, I want to acknowledge the people who made this video possible. First, Mrs. Koffendaffer, our high school counselor, who organized and gathered everything from the video clips to the awards and certificates that the students will receive. Mrs. Klausner, our high school secretary, who will help in creating uh, the certificates and awards that the students will receive. And Mr. Andrews, our band director, who tied all of the video clips together to make this video look professional. I'd also like to thank all of our sponsors who stepped out of their comfort zone to create their video um, of themselves presenting their scholarships and awards. Without the diligent work of all of these people, this video would not have been possible. We will now begin the presentation of our awards. Hello everyone, I'm John Gillian, Athletic Director at Fenville Public Schools, and I want to thank you for joining us for the Fenville High School Awards Night. As an athletic department, we honor individuals who have gone above and beyond during their time at Fenville High, on the court, on the field, and on the mat. We honor these individuals with various awards, including the Wesley James Leonard Outstanding Athlete of the Year Award, the William A. Sexton Award, the SAC Scholar Athlete Award, and new this year, the Athletic Department's 12 Sport Athlete Award. The first award that I would like to present is the SAC Scholar Athlete Award. This award is given out to every student in the Southwestern Athletic Conference who has accumulated at least four varsity letters and has a GPA of over 3.5. This year, one individual qualified for this award with varsity letters in basketball and soccer. And that athlete is Corinne Howard. Congratulations, Corinne. Thank you for being a positive influence for the future generation of Blackhawks. The second award that I would like to present is the 12 Sport Athlete Award. This award will be given out to students who essentially lived and breathed black and orange. These students participated in a sport every season, fall, winter, and spring, from start to finish. They never quit, even during the face of adversity, and found a way to balance school, sports, and their social lives. This year, we graduate two 12 Sport Athletes. Both athletes participated in football, wrestling, and baseball during their entire four years at Fenville. I want to congratulate Jaguar and Tiger Rassel. It takes a special person to do what you both did over the past four years, and Fenville thanks you for it. To all senior athletes, thank you, and we wish you the best of luck in your next steps forward. My name is Jeff Sexton, and I'm here to present an award that means a lot to me. It's called the William A. Sexton Award. It's given every year in honor of my grandfather, who served the Fenville community for 40 years as a teacher, coach, and an administrator. The award is given to a senior who excels both academically and athletically during each of their four years. The winner's name goes on a plaque that hangs near the office at Fenville High School. It's my honor to be able to present this year's award, both on behalf of my family and as a former member of the teaching and coaching staffs of Fenville High School to Miss Corinne Howard. Congratulations, Corinne. Congratulations, class of 2020, and go Hawks.
My name is Jen Lanfear, and on behalf of the West Leonard Heart Team, I am here to present the Wesley J. Leonard Award for this 2020 year. Um, the Wesley J. Leonard Award is named after Wes Leonard, and um, the recipients of this award exemplify the types of things that he was at Bendel High School, both an athlete, a teammate, a student, um, and just an overall great representation of Benville High School. Um, the award goes to a male and female athlete, and these two recipients um, have just been leaders and great teammates and great students and um, have exemplified, like I said, the things that Wes valued um, in his life. Um, the winners will receive plaques, and their names will go on um, the plaque outside the high school office. So it is my pleasure to present the 2020 Wesley James Leonard Award to Corinne Howard and Eric Hernandez. Congratulations, guys. You represent this award well. I'm Sonia Skirbeck, and I represent the Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. I'm here today to virtually present the DAR Good Citizen Award to Corinne Howard. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award honors an outstanding senior who exhibits the qualities of dependability, leadership, service, and patriotism. The selection of Corinne was voted on by the faculty and staff at Fenville High School. Corinne is the daughter of Corey Howard and Betsy Alfieri. Her family has been an integral part of the Fenville community for decades. On both sides of her family, Corinne comes from a legacy full of academic and athletic achievements. So it's no surprise to any of us that this beautiful young woman would be so talented in these areas because these are values that are held in high regard by multiple generations of her family. Her hard work and dedication in these areas have provided joy to all of us who have watched her grow up. The DAR Good Citizen Award is different though. This award recognizes a different type of quality of her character one that puts service to others before self. I think this award is a wonderful reflection on Corinne, her supporting family, and the community of Fenville. Corinne, as you move forward, pursuing the next level of your education, I know that you will continue to carry on with this wonderful characteristic of service to others. On behalf of the DAR, I would like to congratulate you on your award and cheer you on as you continue to make Funville proud. Hello, everybody. My name is Rich Okanaski, and I'm the assistant principal at the Allegan Tech Center. Uh, it is my honor to recognize uh, students from Funville High School that attended the Allegan Tech Center. Uh, for significant achievements and accomplishments throughout um, the school year. The first award that I want to present is Perfect Attendance. These are students who did not miss a single day of school uh, here at the Tech Center while we were in session. Um, we were obviously um, delayed uh, in being able to uh, finish the rest of our school year due to COVID. But from the point that we were in session, they had not missed a single day. So. We want to recognize Arthur Johnson and Ethan Slauson for their wonderful accomplishment in not missing a single day. Perfect attendance. Congratulations. Next is our Excellence in Employability Award. Uh, this is an award given to students who have achieved a 90% or higher for a grade overall in their employability skills grade. Um, employability skills obviously are skills where um, no matter what a student um, does as far as uh, their program, um, this is, uh, these are skills where students um, are employable. And so uh, we want to recognize Ethan Slauson and Gustavo Espino uh, for having excellence in their employability skills. Next is our Excellence in Achievement Award. 
This is an award given to students who have an overall grade percentage of 95% or higher. And those students are Alana Lee, Josh Mulak, and Caitlin DeWolf. Congratulations on your wonderful accomplishment. And last, we had uh, Fenville seniors who were members of our National Technical Honor Society. And so we wanna recognize them for uh, their membership and their accomplishments uh, during um, the school year, being members of the National Technical Honor Society. And so the recognition is to receive their uh, honor cords for graduation. And those uh, Fenville students are Alana Lee and Gazaldi Miguel. Once again, I want to congratulate all the Fenville students for their accomplishments here at the Tech Center. Thank you. My name is Evie Hauser, and I'm the Dean of the Early College of Allegan County. Today, I'm accompanied by my friend, Rosie the Red Hawk, just so I didn't feel so alone. She says hi. I'd like to recognize early college seniors at Fenville. They'll be receiving a burgundy graduation cord as a representative of the hard work that they've done so far in the early college program by earning over 35 college credits from Lake Michigan College. They'll com be completing their coursework next year and they will graduate with their associate's degree from Lake Michigan College. The following students will be earning their associates in arts and sciences, and that's Madison Dalton, Parker Mashan, and Allie Miskowski. And then Jemiah Kamarad will be earning his associates of business. Congratulations to these students. I'm sad I can't be there to um, issue these cords in person, but we are looking forward to your return in the fall, and we do miss you. Good evening. My name is Stacy Thiel and I'm here to present the award for the Seal of Biliteracy. About two years ago, the state of Michigan Department of Education rolled out a new initiative to recognize and highlight the value of learning and maintaining a language and culture, to increase Michigan's global competitiveness, and to recognize the skills and knowledge gained from beyond the classroom. This initiative is called the Seal of Biliteracy. FHS offered this opportunity to its juniors and its seniors to take a test that measures the student's language proficiency in speaking, listening, reading, and writing in another language, in our case, Spanish. If a student received a proficiency rating of intermediate high and has all four of their high school English credits, they have earned the seal. We at Fenville are proud to announce we had one senior who earned this honor. Please join me in congratulating Diogenes Lo Lopez Urioso. Hace dos años, el Departamento de Educación del Estado de Michigan empezó un programa nuevo para reconocer el valor de aprender y mantener un lenguaje y una cultura. Para aumentar la competencia global de Michigan y reconocer el conocimiento que nuestros alumnos han ganado afuera de la escuela. Este programa se llama el Seal of Biliteracy. FHS les ofreció una oportunidad a los seniors y juniors para tomar un examen que midió su competencia en las áreas de escuchar, hablar, escribir y leer en español. Si un alumno recibe una competencia avanzada en el examen y tiene todos los créditos de inglés, habrán ganado el CIO. Estamos orgullosos de tener la habilidad de presentar este premio a Diogenes López Urioso. Each year, it is my honor to select a group of students from the art classroom to be members of the National Art Honor Society. These are students who not only excel artistically, but who are also leaders in the art classroom. There are requirements as to the number of meetings and service hours that they complete. And this year, this group of students did an incredible job. They did more service projects than I think any 
any year previous. They started out helping at the Fenville Goose Festival Art Show. They supervised People's Choice Voting and gave out awards. They helped with murals and were able to beautify my temporary classroom as well as the school during the construction in a number of locations. They also helped out and pulled off an incredible speed job of, of creating a whole Christmas town for the North Pole that took place for the Fenville Christmas festivities. And that was, that showed how well they worked under pressure. They also created Valentine's messages for senior citizens as well as veterans. Then when we were all staying home to stay healthy at the beginning of this coronavirus pandemic, they collectively created a piece of artwork that they sent to their fellow classmates with words of encouragement. And it was, a, it was beautifully done. And I know that I will be printing out several copies to hang around the school because it was, it was so nicely done. At this time, I would like to read their names and I wish I could be handing out each of your cords and your certificates, but because of this pandemic, this will have to, this will have to do this time. But I just think the world of these kids and I would like to read out their names. We have Adeline Crace, Adriana Clark, Anija Everett, Ali Mishikowski, Bon Troutman, Bridget Blatt, Brooke Zugel, Crystal Castillo, Dio Lopez, Eliza Garcia, Grace Lavery, Julie Mendoza, Caitlin DeWoof, Lizette Sanchez, Madison Dalton, Naomi Brown, Quinna Perkins, Taylor Cole, and Ulyssa Martinez. Congratulations to all of you and also to the rest of the seniors. I wish that I was seeing you right now as well. I miss you and wish you the best always. Congratulations on graduation. I know you worked really hard for it. And now it's time for the Art Award. This year, the Michelangelo Award goes to a student who is not only talented, but is definitely a leader in the art classroom. She helps other students. She has continued to grow all four years of high school, and she's even selecting an art career after high school. The student who I'm giving the Michelangelo Art Award to this year is Maddie Dalton. And Maddie, I wish I could hand this to you right now. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Ryan Andersma, and I'm here to present the Dwayne Josburn Social Studies Prize. <clears throat> The Dwayne Josburn Social Studies Prize is awarded in honor of Dwayne Josburns, who taught history, government, economics, and thousands of Blackhawks at Fenville High School for 37 years from 1970 until 2007. The prestigious and highly coveted DJ SSP is presented annually to a graduating senior who has shown exceptional interest and exceptional aptitude in the discipline of social studies. This evening, on behalf of the Social Studies Department, it is my pleasure to award the Duane Josburn Social Studies Prize to Corinne Howard. Congratulations. That concludes my prepared remarks this evening, and now for some casual remarks. Uh, I did my student teaching in 1999 um, with Duane Josburns, and uh, it is a, a great honor. Um, to be able to present this award annually in his name. And uh, I'm also very pleased uh, that Corinne Howard is the winner this year. She's a very cool person who deserves this very cool award. Congratulations again, Corinne, and best wishes.
Hello, my name is Ryan Andersma, and I am the Quiz Bowl coach here at Benville High School. And I would like to present some awards to some graduating seniors. The Fenville High School Quiz Bowl team competes within the Greater Allegan County Quiz Bowl League against teams from seven other area schools. Players must be quick to answer academic questions about a wide variety of subjects in this fast-moving trivia-style competition. Today I'd like to recognize seven graduating seniors who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and present them with a certificate and academic letter. These players also qualify to enter the state Quiz Bowl tournament in Ann Arbor, which would have been held earlier this spring. Those Quiz Bowlers are Arthur Johnson, Luke Obink, Diogenes Lopez Urioso, Rafael Castillo, Ali Mishikowski, Andy Estrada, and Jemiah Kamarad. Congratulations, seniors. Good evening. My name is Stacy Field, and I am the advisor of the National Honor Society chapter here at Benville High School. The National Honor Society is a nationwide organization with a membership of over a million high school students and local chapters found in all 50 states. Part of its mission is to recognize and commend students for academic excellence, but its purpose goes beyond that. Since its establishment in 1921 by the National Organization of Secondary School Principals, the NHS endeavors to create enthusiasm for scholarship, but also to encourage acts of service, build characteristics of leadership, and to promote the development of strong character. These nine seniors exemplify what it means to be a member of the NHS. I know that they will take these pillars of scholarship, leadership, service, and character with them as they go out into the world and accomplish their goals. Please join me in congratulating the following. Bridget Black, Roberto Bloom, Corinne Howard, Grace Slavery, Diogenes Lopez Urioso, Parker Mackin, Ulisa Martinez, Ali Mishikowski, and Samuel Solomon. Good luck in all your future endeavors, kids. You deserve it. Hello, my name is Mrs. Hoover, and I am the Student Council Advisor for Fenville High School. It is my pleasure to be here to present the council members with their Certificate of Leadership and Student Council Cord in recognition of their commitment to the student body of Fenville High School. The Fenville High School Student Council seeks to foster and strengthen school spirit and pride. Its purpose is not to govern the students, but to serve as liaison between the student body and the administration. As council members, they are tasked with representing the student body to ensure that all voices are heard. Although the council is responsible for organizing several activities throughout the school year, I would like to point out their work organizing and planning the many facets of homecoming and snow coming, Veterans Day breakfast and assembly, shopping for students in need, and sponsoring blood drives through Versity Blood. Their efforts and energy are what make these events so successful. I am proud of the Senior Council for their leadership. This year, given all the many things they have lost, they continue to represent their community with leadership and pride and have drawn on the strength that is in abundance in every Blackhawk to lift one another up. Their resilience during this time will have a lasting impression on the future generations of Blackhawks. Our class of 2020 officers are Parker Mockin, Executive Student Body President, Corinne Howard, Executive Student Body Vice President, Crystal Castillo, Executive Student Body Class Treasurer, Ulyssa Martinez, Executive Student Body Class Secretary. Congratulations and go Hawks. On behalf of Versity Blood, it is my privilege to be able to recognize seniors who have donated four or more times throughout high school. Each student will receive an honor cord and certificate in recognition of this awesome and life-giving accomplishment. Congratulations and thank you to Luke Obink, Joseph Fairbanks, Adeline Crace, Jordan Pena, and Joshua Mulak.
First of all, I would like to extend my wishes that you and your family are staying healthy and safe during this time. While the class of 2020's time was cut short in the brick and mortar building we call FHS, the list of musical accomplishments from the band members of the class of 2020 is very long. Band members from the senior class have led the Blackhawk Band to first division ratings at marching band and concert band festivals for their entire time in high school. Band seniors also were a driving force in the band being accepted to perform at the 2020 Michigan Music Conference held in Grand Rapids DeVos Performance Hall. This accomplish marks the apex of seven years in band for these seniors. Tonight I have the challenging task of honoring a select few band members for their work and dedication to the music department at FPS. First, we will honor two seniors for the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award that recognizes band members for their dedication to the jazz arts. These two young musicians have been working to push each other to be better musicians throughout their time in band. In the jazz band, these two young men continue to duel uh, it out for their driving and energetic improvisation solos. The 2020 Louis Armstrong Jazz Award winners are Luke Obink and Andy Estrada. We will next like to honor a band senior for their contribution to the marching band. This senior, while they did not speak out much, uh, they are a perfect example of what true leadership is. This young man would show up to a rehearsal knowing his drill, his music, uh, and would assist those in need without ever being asked. It has been my privilege over the past seven years to witness the growth of this young man's musical abilities and him as a young man. And I'm proud to announce the 2020 National Marching Award goes to Austin Steenwick. The next award is the Gilmore Band Award, which is uh, an award that is given to a band senior that ex shows exemplary uh, musical abilities and passion for the fine arts. This individual is someone that joined our band when she was in high school, but immediately fit into our band family. Her musical abilities, whether it be on the piano or on the saxophone, are always top notch. It is my honor to award the 2020 Gilmore Band Award to Miss Bon Troutman. The past awards have been uh, awards that are governed by a national board of requirements. This next award is one that I solely, as the band director, can choose the criteria. My criteria has always been to offer this award to a student that exemplifies what it means to be in band. I look for someone that is always willing to go the extra mile and do work that others might not recognize. There was no doubt in my mind that the 2020's Director's Award should be given to this young lady that will do anything for band. She is always there to help students who are in need both musically and most importantly, socially and emotionally. She is our band mom and she will truly be missed. The 2020 Band Director's Award goes to Miss Trish Posman. Finally, we will be recognizing the highest award given to a band student, the John Philip Sousa Award. The Sousa Award has been bestowed to the top band senior in schools across the nation since the 1950s. This year, the 2020 John Philip Sousa winner has shown throughout their time in band the leadership and musical ability that would be expected from someone to earn this award. Uh, going to state and district solo and ensemble, this young lady surely will be missed but I know that her future is bright and that she will influence a generation to come with her mu musical abilities. The 2020 John Philip Sousa Award winner is Miss Selena Campman. I can be more pleased to announce our two recipients this year, 2020. Uh, we have two senior girls that are going to be recognized for outstanding vocalists. Uh, from our chamber choir, from our choral department actually, but they're both in chamber choir. The first lady, a uh, young lady, moved here her sophomore year and uh, she was a member of Fantastics. Came in, do nobody, uh, came into that choir and immediately made herself known with her talent. She was a quiet student, but uh, I didn't allow that to uh, not persuade her to continue with her leadership skills and she ended up becoming a member of chamber choir her junior and her senior year. She took a solo. This, uh, well, actually, she made Region B her junior year, Region B MSVMA, and she sang and danced in our project. We did a class project called The Music Man, and she did great. She had little solo lines, acting lines, and danced. I continued to push her her senior year, 
And she took on that challenge. And she made Region B again. She made state that year and got to spend three days up at Grand Rapids and was completely prepared and amazing student. She took a solo her senior year and received a one on it. Could not be more pleased of the recipient of Allie Michikowski as an outstanding vocalist for Fenville Choral Department. Congratulations, Allie. Our second recipient of the outstanding vocalist for Fenville Choral Department is Selena Kaplan. Selena was brought to my attention in her elementary years, her love of performing and singing. This never changed as she went through middle school and high school. She became part of the choral program her sophomore year as a chamber choir member and took a solo her sophomore, junior, and senior year. She received a one rating or an excellent rating all three years. Those solos took her on to state and she received a one rating at state her sophomore and junior and this year was unable to complete the process due to the quarantine. For two years in a row, she has made MSVMA Region B Honor Choir as a soprano. That is a very highly competitive group to make and she made it both years as a junior and senior. She also went on to be a member of MSVMA State SSAA Honor Choir. So that's the women's group. And she's made that two years in a row. Couldn't be more proud of that accomplishment. Her chamber choir, all three years that she was in it, has received a one in the district and state level. And she has been a big part of that. And we really appreciate the talent she has brought to our school. Her junior year, I decided we had such a great group for doing a musical that we did a class project called The Music Man. Selena ended up getting the lead role, Marion Peru, and was outstanding in that part. Great at singing, dancing, acting. It was a great role. I hope she continues to perform that as she continues in this path. After her junior year, she toured an international tour with the Michigan Ambassadors of Music, both in choir and band. Her senior year, she took private lessons at Hope College and has received the Distinguished Artist Scholarship. Could not be more proud of this second recipient of our outstanding singer in Fenville Choir, Selena Kaplan. Hello graduating class of Fenville 2020. This is Coach Rick, the head coach of the Fenville Robohawks Robotics team. I'd like to take this time to recognize some seniors in your class that have played some key roles in our robotics team. The first four members have played key roles in helping us win our first district event last season and backing it up with an off season win. They uh, worked very hard and helped us uh, grow the team to where it is today. First, I'd like to recognize Austin Steenwick, a four-year team member. He has been the driver, been on programming, been on build. He's really helped out the team a lot. And I'd like to recognize him with his second Robotics of RC letter. The next is Jemiah Camerad. He will also be receiving his second uh, varsity letter. And he has been a lead, uh, lead role in our programming team and also helping develop our middle school team, he being one of the youth mentors on that team. Next is Arthur Johnson, who will also be receiving a second award uh, varsity letter in robotics. Arthur also has uh, helped out with our middle school team being a youth mentor for the last two years and has uh, been on our build team, design team, and has done a great things for us. Next is Ellie Miskowski. She is a second year member and will be receiving her uh, first varsity letter. And last but not least is Ray Diaz. He was on our team as a sophomore. He missed our junior season, which was our winning season, but he came back for his senior year and has really helped out the team. These, these seniors, I can't say enough for them. They are just amazing students, uh, mentors, really helped out the team. Like I said, without them, we wouldn't have won our first district event or uh, our first off-season event. 
they are amazing students and I wish them well in the future and uh, nothing but the best. So on behalf of all the mentors, assistant coach and myself for the robotics team, good luck seniors and have a great time. We now turn to the college recognition and scholarship section of our program. Tonight, local awards will be presented to Fenville students who completed an application portfolio. I want to acknowledge the hard work of Mrs. Coffendeffer for facilitating the online application process and for organizing the local scholarship committee meeting. Thanks to the leaders of the Fenville Education Foundation and staff members who assisted with the selection process. Since some of the scholarships to be announced tonight have very specific selection criteria, it is at times a challenge to find the best match for each scholarship. Having observed that committee in action in previous years, I can tell you that they take this task very seriously and those student portfolios and essays to make thoughtful decisions. We will now begin our presentation of the scholarships. Congratulations to the following seniors for earning the Michigan Competitive Scholarship. Each of these students have achieved an SAT score of 1,200 or higher. Congratulations to Corinne Howard. Congratulations to Dio Lopez. Congratulations to Sam Solomon. And congratulations to Austin Steenwick. Congratulations to each of our seniors for earning merit scholarships from colleges and universities. Each of these students have worked hard to maintain high GPAs and exceptional test scores. I am disappointed that we are unable to honor their achievements in person, but each of them should be so proud of what they have accomplished. Congratulations to Roberto Bloom for earning a total of $16,145 from Michigan State University. Congratulations to Selena Katman for earning a total of $25,280 from Hope College. Congratulations to Anija Everett for earning a total of $10,344 from Ferris State University. Congratulations to Adam Hernandez for earning a total of $5,500 from Western Michigan University. Congratulations to Corinne Howard for earning a total of $23,991 from the University of Michigan. Congratulations to Dio Lopez for earning the Go Blue Scholarship, which is equal to full tuition from the University of Michigan. Congratulations to Liliana Marquez for earning a total of $39,855 from Hope College. Congratulations to Ulyssa Martinez for earning a total of $13,745 from Grand Valley State University. Congratulations to Giselle Di Miguel for earning a Baker Dean Scholarship of $3,000 from Baker College. Congratulations to Madison Rodabaugh for earning $2,000 from Lake Michigan College. Congratulations to Sam Solomon for earning a total of $19,320 from the University of Michigan. Congratulations to Yesenia Suarez for earning a total of $15,695 from Grand Valley State University. Again, we are so proud of each of our seniors and their exceptional work. Hello, my name is David Hopkins, and I am the current quartermaster of the VFW Post 7911 in Fendo. I'm here tonight to present a scholarship for two students that was established by the VFW Post 7911 in Fendo. The preference for this scholarship is given to a student who is an immediate family member of any person honorably discharged from the armed forces, or for a student who desires to study law enforcement, conservation, or firefighting. Congratulations to Allie Michikowski and Connor Barnes. Both of these students are receiving a scholarship in the amount of $500. Congratulations. The Chuck Simmons Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Chuck Simmons, who was a graduate of Fenville High School. The Simmons family gives this scholarship to a Fenville High School graduate who will be attending a school in Michigan. Consideration is given for scholastic ability and GPA. 
This $1,000 scholarship is awarded to Tamara Hernandez. Congratulations, Tamara. Hello, I'd like to present the West Michigan Blue Star Chamber of Commerce Scholarship. This scholarship is presented to students who show an interest in the business field or have volunteered their time in a chamber event. I'd like to present this award to Allie Michikowski and Ethan Slauson. Both of them had volunteered several hours to the chamber. Each of them will be receiving a scholarship for $500. Congratulations to the both of you. Hello, Fenville Blackhawks, class of 2020, from the Allegan County Community Foundation. We are very proud to hold some of the funds and administer the funds for some of the scholarships that you have applied for. So I just want to say congratulations to those recipients of the 2020 Fenville High School Scholarships. This scholarship is established by the Saugatuck Douglas Garden Club. Every year they offer a scholarship to one Fenville senior who plans to pursue a career in agriculture or science. Congratulations to Roberto Bloom. He is receiving this scholarship in the amount of $2,000. Roberto plans to attend Michigan State University and major in physics. This scholarship was established in memory of Trevor and Marie Nichols. The Nichols family gives this scholarship to a Fenville High School senior to further their education in the field of art and music. This year we have two recipients. Congratulations to Grace Lavery and Ethan Slauson. They are receiving this scholarship in the amount of $2,535. Grace plans to attend Lake Michigan College and would like to study literature or film. Ethan plans to attend Full Sail University and he would like to study graphic design and game art. Mrs. Hazel Schiedel established this scholarship in the memory of her mother, Helen Kitchen, who was a teacher in Allegan County for many years. This scholarship will be awarded to a Fenville High School student who plans to attend university in Michigan. This scholarship is awarded based on ACT scores, financial need, scholastic ability, dependability, personality, ability to socially adjust, and seriousness of purpose. Congratulations to Joe Fairbanks. He is receiving this scholarship in the amount of $565. Hi, I have the honor of announcing the Frederick Laddie Meziar Scholarship. This scholarship is brought to us by the Paul Meziar family. And this scholarship is in honor of Laddie Meziar, who was a 1961 graduate of Fenville High School. This scholarship is awarded to students who are interested in pursuing a career in math or science. This year, this scholarship is given to Jasmine Diaz, she is um, pursuing nursing and she will be going to Kelvin College. This scholarship is for $465. Congratulations, Jasmine. Good afternoon, fellow Blackhawks. My name is James Clark. How's everybody this evening? Um, during this time uncertainty and with the coronavirus, oh, wait a minute. I don't need this mask on. I'm on TV here. There, much better. I'm here for representing this Moorhead family with the Hustle and Harmony Scholarship for 2020. Hustle and Harmony Scholarship requirements are to be a Fenville High School graduate, active in a church or in a church youth group, active in community and school service, participate in athletics for four years during their high school. The scholarship was established in honor of Coach Sam Moorhead and Ada Moorhead, his wife, our mom. Um, this was started in 2001. It's, in, it's now in the memory of both as Coach passed away in 2013 and Ada, mom, passed away in September of 2018. This scholarship is a one-time $500 scholarship award. 
And this year recipient recipient is Madison Dalton. Madison is a active member of the Fenville United Methodist Church. She attends there regularly and supports the church activities through her prayers, her presence, her gifts, and her service. There are so many ways that she was, contributes to the life of the, the church. She has used her artistic ability to create beautiful and stained glass window decor. She's assisted with the decoration and the set of Summer Vacation Bible School. She assisted with the cleanup an organization of arts and crafts room. She has served refreshments for the after church fellowship. She assisted with childcare in the nursery. As a participant in the church youth group, she has shopped, wrapped, organized in the angel tree gifts for the community Christmas box program. She assisted with several community ice cream socials after the annual Memorial Day parade where she was the proceeds go to our local mission project. She served the annual Super Bowl luncheon, whereas the proceeds go to support service projects. She assisted the pastor in administrating communion. She has served as an acolyte and an usher. Madison is also active in the Be Nice program campaign at the Fenville High School. She has participated in volleyball, softball, soccer during high school athletic career. I'm sure that, if, that Ada has attended several of your athletic competitions and community events. She and Coach Sam would have been very proud of you. Congratulations, Madison. Your name has been added to the Hustle and Harmony plaque that is displayed in the Alumni Hall. Thank you very much. Hi there. My name is Phil Back Caps, a 2008 graduate of Fenville High School. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations to the entire class of 2020. You've put in the hard work, rolled with the punches, and you're here today because of your dedication to yourself. Nice job. Today, I'm here to present the class of 2008 Service Scholarship, which was established in 2019. This year's recipient will receive a $500 scholarship to pursue post-secondary education. Applicants of the scholarship must exhibit a commitment to their community and express how they plan to continue this commitment to the Fenville community post high school. Teachers have described this year's recipient as a hard worker and leader, as they were actively involved in choir, National Art Honor Society, and sports while at Fenville High School. One reference stated this year's recipient never once walked into the classroom with a chip on their shoulder or brought drama into their workspace. This year's recipient plans to attend Ferris State University this fall to study social work whoop, whoop, and wants to work with teenagers in need. It is with honor and excitement I present this year's Class of 2008 Service Scholarship to Anija Everett. Congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Sydney DeYoung and I will be presenting the Rick Mojack Scholarship on behalf of Ms. Katherine Hobbs. The scholarship is presented to a student who displays qualities of leadership, determination, and perseverance while attending Fenville High School. Previous recipients have shown promise in extracurricular participation, community involvement, and volunteering. The recipient of the Rick Mojack Scholarship for the graduating class of 2020 is Liliana Marquez. I had the honor and privilege of coaching Lily in basketball when she was in middle school. From then on, I have watched her grow into a determined young lady when it comes to things she is passionate about. Lily overcame an ACL tear and can then continued to participate in athletics. She was a team captain and led her teammates on and off the court or field. Lily also has over 100 hours of volunteering at Holland Hospital, which speaks to her work ethic and helping the community. Lily will be attending Hope College in pursuit to become a physician's assistant. Congratulations again, Lily, and good luck at Hope College. I would also like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. All of your hard work has finally paid off. Good luck on your next adventure. Thanks. Congratulations to Eliza Garcia for earning the Payne Scholarship. This award is given to a high achieving senior who plans on attending Hope College. The Payne Scholarship is equal to full tuition for the first year at Hope College. Eliza has worked hard and is very deserving of this award and we're excited for her future at Hope. 
Hello and congratulations, Fenville Class of 2020. What a crazy year it's been. From the fall with mosquitoes and Triple E to the spring and COVID-19, every curveball has been thrown your way. But you've been able to adapt and overcome. Those are qualities that will serve you well the rest of your life. My name is Dan Rastel and I'm here with Toby Hutchins. We are members of the Fenville Educational Foundation. The FEF is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to support and provide educational opportunities for the students in the district of Fenville Public Schools. The way we do this is by awarding classroom mini grants each fall to the teachers in the district for all kinds of educational tools, from math and reading games for our younger students to support for our high school band and robotics team. Each spring, the foundation has the honor of awarding monetary scholarships to our Fenville High School graduates going on to colleges and trade schools. For me, today is even more special as two of my own are graduating with this class. I've known most of you since kindergarten. I've been on many field trips with you. I've coached you, I've cheered you on. I am proud of each and every one of you. As we announce the following scholarships, we want you to know where they come from. Every single scholarship that we award comes from the citizens of Fenville. Some of the money comes by way of large amounts that enable the foundation to preserve the initial endowment and give away the accumulated interest every year. Other scholarships come from people who want to honor their Fenville loved ones by giving a small memorial donation that can add up to a scholarship of $500 or more. However it comes to us, it adds up to a whole lot of caring people who live among us. People who truly care about nurturing the young people who go forth from Fenville and take their place in the world beyond our city limits. It makes you terribly proud to be from Fenville. The Cody Valentine Scholarship is given in memory of Cody Valentine. Cody graduated from Fenville with the class of 2015. He was a bright young man who had many adventures in his future. Cody was a leader and enjoyed helping others and always made sure that his family and friends were taken care of. Cody was dedicated to many groups within the school, such as the football team and the robotics team. Cody spent many hours creating bonds with his fellow teammates. For this scholarship, his family would like to see the recipient not only do well academically, but also be involved with extracurricular activities and do volunteer work in the community. Cody's family hopes that this scholarship helps with the next adventure that you are about to take. This one-time scholarship of $500 goes to Anija Everett. Go ahead. The Bill and Rose Dalton Scholarship was established by their son, Bill Jr. and his wife, Judy. In 1950, Bill and Rose left Detroit shortly after they married and moved to Fenville to become fruit farmers, even though they knew little about farming at the time. They spent a lifetime of farming and worked side by side for nearly 60 years, making Dalton Orchards a success. The family wants Fenville graduates to love their chosen profession as much as they did and to remember that perseverance pays off. This one-time scholarship of $1,500 goes to Elizabeth Gresham. The Ruth Pache Memorial Scholarship was established by her husband, Alfred Pache, and is continued by their children. Ruth was a registered surgical nurse in a family practice and volunteered with local blood drives. She always felt that nursing was a great calling, a way to help others. This one-time scholarship of $1,000 goes to Liliana Marquez. All right. All right. Our next scholarship comes to a Fenville graduate from the American Legion. It's a tribute to veterans everywhere. This one-time scholarship of $1,000 goes to Selena Kapman. The next award comes to us by way of a donation made by Robert and Luetta Crane. Luetta has passed away but before she died, she wanted to set up a scholarship to help students after she was gone. The scholarship is set up as a one-time award for two students. 
One, pursuing a career in art, as Luetta was a self-taught artist and wished for more education. This one-time scholarship of $1,000 goes to Austin 10K. The other scholarship was set up for a graduate going on to pursue a career in business, as the Cranes were self-taught business people too. This one-time scholarship of $1,000 goes to Keegan Griska. The next scholarship is called the Donald and Mary Ann Moeller Memorial Scholarship and was established as an award to go to someone pursuing an education in the trades. Don and Mary Ann were both very much hands-on kind of people with Don building homes and Mary Ann helping restore them. There are 18 homes in Fenville that have either been built by the Moeller's or lovingly restored by them. This one-time scholarship of $2,000 goes to Josh Mulek. Donald and Thelma Dickinson provide our next scholarship through a trust agreement. Don was the owner of Dickinson Hardware in downtown Fenville for many years and was involved with kids in the school. Thelma was on the school board in the 1950s when what is now the middle school was being built. This one-time scholarship of $2,400 goes to Madison Radabaugh. The Leon and Josephine Wade Shepherd Scholarship was established in 1958 by Fenville resident Josephine Shepherd Wade to assist graduating students of Fenville High School to attend college in Michigan. An interesting part of this scholarship is that it specifically states that it is to be given to an equal number of boys and girls, which was quite progressive for 1958. This scholarship is renewable for two years. Each year is for $3,500 for a total of $7,000. These scholarships go to Luke Obink, Austin Steenwick, Roberto Bloom, Diogenes Lopez Urioso, Ali Mishikoski, Taylor Cole, Melissa Martinez, and Corinne Howard. The next scholarship is brought to Fenville by Mary Wark. Mary was a daughter of poor immigrants who became a teacher at a Fenville country school at a young age. As a young unmarried teacher, Mary lived with a family who paid for her by helping in the household by giving her stock in their company. She never cashed in the stock and left a trust to help the Fenville Educational Foundation to help students intending to pursue a career in the teaching field. This year we are awarding two four-year scholarships for $3,000 per year for a total of $12,000. This year's award winners are Madison Dalton and Yesenia Suarez. The Janice and Edward Hutchinson Scholarship honors Janice and Edward Hutchinson who are lifelong residents of Fenville and lived in the big white house on the corner of M89 and 58th Street. Edward was a United States representative in Washington, D.C. Janice was always a champion of children and education even though she and Edward never had children of their own. The Hutchinson family requests that the recipient show the qualities of both good citizenship and civic leadership, just as Janice and Edward exemplified all of their lives. This scholarship is a four-year award for $6,000 a year for a total of $24,000. This year's recipient is Parker Mackin. The last scholarship is provided by Lucille and Herschel Wolfgang and Lucille's sister, Anna, and her husband, Ival Wade. Both families were longtime area farmers. While neither had children of their own, they wanted to establish this trust for an academic scholarship to a Fenville High School graduate going on to pursue a four-year degree. This scholarship is a four-year award for $5,000 a year for a total of $20,000. This year's recipient is Sam Solomon. We would like to remind all of the recipients to please make sure you read and understand the guidelines and responsibilities you will have to do in order to receive these awards. These scholarships will be mailed directly to you at your current address by October 30th. You will receive one check for the 2020-2021 school year. If you have more than one year, you will need to fill out the renewal form and send it back by email, fax, 
or dropping it off at the central office. If you need to change your address, please do so immediately. We will use the address you put on your scholarship applications. Please take the time to thank your donors. Best wishes on continued success. Next, we are going to honor our students who have demonstrated academic excellence. Silver cords are awarded to seniors who have received a cumulative GPA between 3.0 and 3.49. Excellent work and congratulations to our silver cord recipients. Adam Hernandez, Adriana Clark, Taylor Cole, Giselle Di Miguel, Eliza Garcia, Bridget Block, Madison Radabaugh, Andy Estrada, Grace Lavery, Von Troutman, Elizabeth Gresham, Yesenia Suarez, Jemiah Cameron, Oscar Garcia Akuk, Madison Dalton, Selena Kapman, Naomi Brown, Austin Steenwick, Crystal Castillo, Raimundo Diaz, and Morgan Latchaw. Congratulations and good work, you guys. Gold cords and plaques will be awarded to all seniors who have received a cumulative GPA of 3.5 and above. Our gold cord and academic achievement plaque winners are Roberto Bloom, Corinne Howard, Arthur Johnson, Alana Lee, Dio Lopez Urioso, Parker Mackin, Ulyssa Martinez, Allie Mishikowski, Seth Peterson, and Samuel Solomon. Excellent work to our gold cord recipients. The SAC Academic All-Conference Team for many years, the schools of the Southwestern Athletic Conference have each named top seniors to the academic all-conference team. The selection is based on a formula that combines a student's GPA with his, his or her SAT score. The following students have earned this award for 2020. Samuel Solomon, Corinne Howard, Parker Mackin, Dio Lopez Urioso, and Allie Mishikowski. Congratulations to the Fenville Academic All Conference team. Excellent work. Seniors, congratulations to each of you for the awards and scholarships that you received this evening. Tonight, your class received close to $192,000 from colleges and another almost $192,000 in local scholarships. It's a total of around $385,000. We know that this would not have been possible without the support of parents, grandparents, and other significant adults who helped you along the way. So tonight, make sure to thank them for their ongoing encouragement and support. Once again, I'd like to thank Mrs. Coffendaffer, Mrs. Klausner, and Mr. Andrews, as well as the Fenville Education Foundation and all of the presenters who contributed to this video. One closing thought that I would like you to leave you with tonight. Many of you received awards and certificates honoring your hard work and achievement. Many of you also received scholarships that you can use for your future educational expenses. I want you to take a moment to think about the source and the intent of that money. All of those local scholarships were donations, many given to honor and remember those for whom they are named. In only a few of the cases, these cases, will you be able to personally thank those who donated the money. In many cases, the money was given for this purpose even before you were born. Think about it. Why would somebody do that? It's an investment in you. When you encounter the inevitable struggles and challenges in the coming months and years, remember that your home community believes in you, has invested in you, and encourages you to persevere. 
please take this investment and use it wisely to further your education so that you may have a positive impact on your community and on the world. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and seniors, again, congratulations.